Hello everyone. I'm going to show you how to charge Ryobi batteries from the sun today. I'm going to show you the most efficient way that I found and I'm going to show you the fastest way that I found. What you're going to need today is you're going to need a Ryobi 1 in-vehicle charger and a 12 volt solar panel. The reason I chose the Ryobi in-vehicle charger is because it has over circuit protection and an over voltage protection meaning that if the solar panel goes over voltage, it'll stop charging the battery. I ended up cutting the end off the charger and installing an XT60 connector on the solar panel and an XT60 connector on the charger itself. Let me give you a demonstration real quick of how it works. After directly plugging in the charger to the solar panel, I want you to grab the charger and confirm that the red light is on, providing enough power to the charger. I then want you to grab a Ryobi battery and plug it directly in to the charger. Now that the 12 volt charger is connected to the 12 volt solar panel, I'm going to leave it in the sun here for about two hours. We're going to put it on a timer, but in the meantime, I'm going to show you what else I've built that charges faster than this, because the other one is just efficient. It takes too long to charge. It takes about two, two and a half hours to charge this battery when it's fully depleted like this. I have some 24 volt solar panels here. Actually, I have a whole lot of them. But we're going to now show you the faster way to charge it with a 24 volt solar panel. I've seen a lot of people on YouTube how they charge Ryobi batteries and with boost converters and all sorts of different things. But now I'm going to show you the fastest way that I've actually found to charge Ryobi batteries from the sun. Built here is actually two Ryobi chargers in one. This is just used for a base and this is an aftermarket car charger. And the reason I chose this is because it takes actually a wider range of voltage than the other one. This takes an input voltage between 10.5 and 48 volts. To use this charger, I had to put a diode into this connector directly from the solar panel so it doesn't destroy the charger that I built. And when you plug in, you can see the red light illuminated. And when you plug the battery in, the pleated battery, you can see that the light's flashing green and, red and charging. You put the timer on. Now I'm going to show you how fast this charges compared to the other one. Yes, we're using a bigger solar panel and this is built way more sturdy than the other one is, but I still want to show you how fast this one charges compared to the other one. Charger just finished here, fully charged. Took about two hours and 15 minutes on a 100 watt solar panel here. This one just finished too. So it took about 47 minutes. Well, the sun's going down. I think it's awesome that you can charge directly from a solar panel these batteries. But would I do it? No. I would use a big, huge battery, like that 24 volt battery that I charge from the sun, and I would plug these chargers in directly to that bigger battery it's charged DC to DC so I would lose even less energy. Yes, it's really cool to charge from a solar panel, but I recommend using a solar controller and a battery for a buffer. I appreciate you watching my videos. If you like my content, please like and subscribe. Until the next time.